Hello everyone, I'm Sheldon Barlett Rumor and this is it. Welcome back to This Is It TV. She is back and she has got some news for all of you. I would love for her to introduce herself, her first and last name, and the name of her business. I'm Dr. Liz Bale, CEO of Doc and Phoebe's Cat Company and uh, Doc Liz Bale's veterinarian, educator, and spokesperson. I mean, my girl is here to give it to you. The dogs are getting involved, right? It, well, dogs are amazing. I mean, I don't have to tell you that. Dogs are amazing. And somehow, Dog's yeah. best friend ends up coming to our rescue every time. Every time. Every time, and this is no exception. So there's some really exciting things going on. Okay. So, you know, it's five weeks now that we've been in lockdown. Yeah. Um, this morning, the latest I could see, 45,000 Americans have lost their lives. 45,000. Um, and almost uh, 830,000 Americans have been tested positive. But that testing seems like the linchpin to right. get us back going. Number one, we don't have enough stuff, testing materials, supplies. How are we even going to get everybody tested in the way that we need to? Right. Um, the expense is great, but we got to get this economy back going. And of course, number one, we want to keep everybody healthy. Yeah. Dogs just might be the answer. So the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine yeah. is now working on a project yeah. to see if COVID-19 in human beings has a specific odor. If so, they can, and actually dog uh, detection agencies around the world yeah. can teach dogs to detect that odor in people and then communicate that to the handler. How amazing wow. is that? And with that kind of speed and efficiency, yeah. they think that they could test somewhere up to 250 to 750 people an hour. An hour. An hour. So in a busy airport, right. or they could be, the dogs could say, this person is suspicious for the virus. Let's, then the handler could pull them out of line and use the, the medical test right. on highly suspicious people as identified by the dogs to make this much more streamlined and give us a real possibility of getting back to work. Wow. So Isn't that amazing? Like, again, dog, man's best friend. Man's best friend. To our rescue. And it's not in lieu of, just so everybody's clear, it's not in lieu of the testing, but the ability to be able to say, okay, and identify those that have this <laughs> odor or scent that says, okay, this person is a carrier, this person is infected, Let's pull them out of line as opposed to maybe even testing everybody, but at right. least kind of expedite the process yes. so we can know how amazing. And we know that it's already happening in so many ways. Dogs are so adorable that we just walk right by and don't think about it. It's already right. happening for drugs, for bombs, for so many things. And then on the medical side, dogs have been able to detect everything from Parkinson's and cancer to they can even tell when uh, their person is about to have a seizure. And, and notify the person with special signals to be able to make sure that they're cared for for an oncoming seizure. So this is not, oh, my dog's identifying something right now. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I love it, I love it. But it's the truth. <laughs> it's the truth. So, uh, so the, the talent that dogs have has been known for a long time. Now, how can we teach them specifically to identify uh, the COVID-19? Additionally, Chalda, yes. dogs can identify fevers. So really? instead of having to thermometer temperature check everyone, yeah. it's possible that the dogs could pull people out that have signs of fever, and then we could be much more efficient about our process. I absolutely love this, because we know that dogs, especially when their owners are having babies, when they're hypersensitive to all of the things that are going on in and around the home, if we're able to train our best friends in identifying this, whether it be through the, you know, the way in which the particular individual smells and then the handler can kind of, oh my gosh, this yeah. is mind blowing. And you know, you, you brought up the point of then we would follow with a scientific test because we, yeah. we, we love, we doctors love our scientific tests and they make us feel at ease. But in fact, in many cases, dogs have been shown to be more accurate than scientific tests. What are, what are so there, they have 300 million scent receptors in their nose. You and I only have 6 million. 
and the part of their brain devoted to what is that smell and what does it mean? The yeah. part of the brain that does that takes up 35% of their brain. For you and me, it's only 5%. Isn't that amazing? So the association that I have with my love of coffee and its smell, right? only takes up that small percentage where the dog's association with that same smell takes up a larger percentage of the brain. A huge percentage of the brain. And to, to make that analogy one step further, yeah. so if, you, if you're, your husband's making coffee in the kitchen, yeah. you walk down the stairs, you can smell it. Yeah. Right? Okay, take one drop of that coffee. Yeah. Go to your nearest high school that has an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Right. Put one drop of coffee in the swimming pool. Yeah your dog that's trained could tell you there's coffee oh, in the pool. I am so obsessed with this. Right? I mean, you always do this to me. You always shed light where there is complete darkness and you usually do it with someone that has four legs. And I absolutely love it. The, the, the amazement that I have for what the, the connection between dogs and cats and people can bring to our, our emotional lives, but even our health, and now our world economy. Um, they're just endlessly amazing. What's more interesting than that? I don't know, it <laughs> might be you. You might be more interesting than that. I am obsessed with you. You always join me and give me such great information, not, not only about our favorite friends that are living in our home, that we take care of, our pets that we adore, but also how can they be part of what the world is going through right now? This was absolutely amazing. We cannot wait to share it. In the meantime, I wanna make sure that people know how they can get in touch with you, how they can follow Fan and like you. How can they do that, my friend? DocLizBales.com, DocAndPhoebe.com, or on any social channel as DocLizBalesVeterinarian. I absolutely love it. No excuses. This is a big deal. This is a huge nugget and can really be a game changer. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. Ah, more to come. You know, I'm obsessed with you. You'll be here every week sharing more information on how we can take care of our pets and ourselves. I'm so grateful to have Dr. Liz with us today. From all of us here at This Is It TV, I'm Cheldon Barlett-Rumor, and we will see you soon. Take care.